Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Jaden here. So in this video here, we're actually going to be taking off the calipers because I'm going to get them powder coated. And also I will be getting my rotors machined. So I'm going to take off everything like that. I've got my trusty brake line clamp. I can just clamp on there like that so I don't lose too much fluid. And happy days. So let's crack one top. Yep, they're all spider eggs. And yes, I have put my hair all through it. Oh, I still feel like I've got something crawling in my hair. Anyway, I'm just going to whiz off these two nuts right here. So this one down there, and then the one following down there. They're both, I think, 17. And then... No, that one's smaller, so that's 16, 17. That's weird. Okay, let's crack on. That was a pain in the ass. But she's out. That clamp is working nicely, but I've just tucked it up there just in case it starts to leak again. So, you know, just extra precaution. And we'll chuck on the wheel because it's no need to have this one off. So, this one here, I should have filmed it, but this one here slips in like that. I don't know, I'll just fix it. So, that one there slips in like that. And the way to tell is because that's a longer longer one like that. And that one's just going to slip in like that. There we go. No. There you get the gist. Yeah, she sits like that. <laughs> there we go. See these little openings right there? There's one there, one there, and one around there. You just want to grab yourself a pick. A nice hook pick. Just like, where did this one go? Like just like this. And then just stick it in the groove there and then just pry it away. Make sure when you're prying it as well, just pry it straight so it doesn't come and pierce straight through the boot. And then you just want to flip it around and then just do the other side. Doesn't matter if she goes inside out. Because we'll be fixing her back up later on. There we go. So she's off, and as you can see, I didn't disassemble it properly when I painted my calipers last. Now I just need to re. Now I just need to reassemble. Now I just need to reassemble everything, and so it looks like a caliper again. That could have been bad. I just squeezed in this bad boy. She shot out all the fluid in there. So lucky enough, she didn't actually get on the car. It would have been a nightmare to try and. Um, fix up. <laughs> Don't forget about these bad boys as well. They're the ones that hold in the slider pins. So you also need to grab out them ones so they don't melt when you go in the oven. Even though that these bad boys would get up to some temperature after some hard braking, but don't want to take the chance. So all I'm using right now is just a flathead screwdriver and then just working the outside edges first and pushing it down at the same time. But try not to penetrate it and then she should be good. Try and look through the camera while doing it is almost impossible. Alright, that should be falling through. Just like that. We catch it on the bottom. And we put it in our Ziploc bag. Man. Oh, just hit my knee on the stud. Oh, I'm just checking for any more spiders. There we go. So. 13 mil, she's coming off nicely. We'll see how much of a headache this handbrake causes me. So if worse comes to worse, I'll just take them off and just do it in a blue. So I don't know how well you can see that, but she moves. There we go. She moves, so I'll have to do that off camera and I'll show you guys. So what I did here was I pushed in using the spanner here right down until I could move it with my finger across and then I am just worried that if I was to let it completely go it's just going to go twing you know what I mean because there is some resistance holding it back but I'll let you know how she goes there was no twang whatsoever which was good that has to be staying up there. 
yeah so she stayed nicely I thought it was just gonna go twang you know <laughs> so now I need to grab the 14 mil unloosen the actual brake line then Bob's your uncle <laughs> no left hand sweet so now it's time to actually strip this right down take off all the rubbers again take off all the components that I don't need to get damaged and put them in this zippy lock bag now I could have done just two zippy lock bags but I just wanted to, to make sure and do RR for like right rear right and stuff like that just so I don't get it mixed up and also I need to figure out what I need to take off so I need to take out this sliders again so let's crack on to it all right hopefully that stays there but I highly doubt it's gonna stay there what I'm doing now is just using my pick grab off these shields here just these ones right in here oh try not to lose them in the process and then I can go on this block bag straight away there we go so that's one flip her over two Bob's your uncle then that looks like a T30 Torx nope bigger what is this T45 Crack this open, hopefully. Oh. Oh. So I've cracked both of them, just like that. And I'll also put these pins in that bag. Okay, so what you want to do then is just grab a pick and see how it just uses the threads but make sure you don't if it starts slipping on the threads then you don't want to use that because then it's just gonna stuff up the threads pop these bad boys in there and I'll show you again I don't know how well you'll be able to see it just like that and then put these ones in there. Bob's your uncle. So what's next is you just want to pry open on these. Just like that. Just like that. Okay, so this one was like that. And this one with the weird metal parts on the end, slide in closest to the, and then you just want to use your pick as well. Just pick under it, just slightly, but make sure you don't pierce it or try to anyway. See how she's lifting up a little bit? I can't actually see. Because the light's shining straight in my eyes. So I can't see what I'm doing for you guys. So hopefully you guys will be able to see. And I'm just working my magic around the whole. There we go. And same deal. Just pull it straight out like that. And then that one there can go straight in the bag. Alright, so it's the next day, and now since I don't have the Audi in here, I can comfortably do this side here. Let's crack onto it. Meaty boys! Okay, for some reason, that side over there is made up of. 
17s and 15s. This side here is made up of only 15s, so. another set of Torx bits but they're in the boot of my car and I can't access my boot for some stupid reason so I need to deal with these little bad boys oh man this is gonna be hard having no leverage <clears throat> just as well because there's dogs walking around and everything no leverage gang oh there we go that's easy as Torx bit I'm using is a T45 Torx bit. Just to pull out the sliders like that. Chuck these bad boys in. Meany. And then that one there is also meaty. So yeah, I'm just going to be using these ones. And finding my pick. Just in here, there's like little slip mark so you can just, just stick your pick in and then just drag it outwards straight out towards you just like that it pops the seal off the actual thing try not to to scratch up the actual surface itself because in the because in the gasket won't actually I mean the dust shield won't actually hold onto it it'll just leak through it so that's not what you want so put that in the bag and last but not least is these bad boys right here. Alright, so I, I explained it to you yesterday how to do this. I just use a flat, flat head. Oh, when it wants to. And just push down, just like that. Do it the same, same thing on the other side. So push in and turn at the same time like that. Chuck these in. 
and that caliper is all done. Now I need to move on to the rear. Just a bevy drink. That's the good one. Oh my gosh, so I'm gonna take full full accountability for this. That's how loose my top bolt is. That's shocking, Jaden. That's pure laziness. For this time around, it's gonna be good and proper. I didn't film much of the disassembly of the rear brake because I showed you three others and I didn't see why. I need to show you another one, so that's it down there. I put it underneath the car because I don't have any shelf space at the moment. These are all the dints I need to take out. The little like PDR dints I need to just take out. I've got my PDR set in the drawer over there. I just noticed as well. I don't know how well you can notice that, but it's like right along there, there's like a little dent. In some angles you can see it. But yeah, that was actually not even that hard to do. I thought it was going to be a lot difficult. The whole disassembly of the rubbers and stuff like that and the actual calipers itself was a lot easier than I thought it was. And yeah, I was blown away. 10 out of 10 would recommend taking off the calipers to paint them. It only takes you like... 15 20 minutes to take it all off. Yeah, so you don't need any special tools. Oh, if you don't have any Torx bit, then maybe grab yourself a Torx bit. But yeah, you don't need any specialty tools to take them apart. So that's good. But if you were to push the rear piston in, you need a special tool. Uh, it is a weird one that you have to just turn in, so that's the only special specialty tool that you need for these brakes. But yeah, it's not too bad otherwise than that. I've zippy tied it because it doesn't really hold in there and I don't want to lose it. So I zip tied it like that so it's just one unit. So what I'm doing here is I'm just taking out my map sensor out of my old alloy cold side. And I'm just taking out my throttle body. And I'm just basically going to give this to my mate so he can practice on alloy welding. Yeah because I don't feel comfortable giving it to someone because she's all cooched inside. What I'm going to be doing right now is I'm just going to use mass airflow sensor car and just spraying this one here before I put it in the intercooler. She's nicely in there. Nicely secured, not moving anywhere. She's a girthy boy. Shot, no